Well, hi, Brian Janey, Allegro Piano Service here. Just quick shout out to piano teachers. Just wanted to use the email and do this. I'm gonna do like a little video blog here. I got a fancy little tripod. I got my iPhone stuck up there and I'm like in front of the screen. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> but I um, wanted to give a shout out to you guys. Thank you for all that you do in helping people to make music. You know, guys like me probably wouldn't have much of a business if it wasn't for piano teachers, <laughs> truth be told. Um, and I greatly uh, appreciate all that you've done. I mean, I've been under the instruction of a piano teacher and learned much about using my hands and expressing myself and connecting the brain to these things so that I can actually create music, read music, all of that. It's awesome. Thank you for all you do. One thing I wanted to address in a quick little bit here is the circumstance where you find yourself at the receiving end of a phone call from a student or a parent of a student saying, hey, we're looking at a piano. Do you want to come out and give it a look for us so we can know whether or not it's good? Be careful. I've had instances where I had a situation where a piano teacher who recommended a piano to someone uh, didn't really know, I mean, they could play, certainly. They could push the pedals up and down, do some things, but they didn't know how to take the case parts off of it. They didn't know what to look at inside. And when the piano landed in these people's house, it was a, it, the piano had been a hotel for mice for months and months. And the people didn't know, the piano teacher didn't know. I've had instances where pianos were acquired that uh, had been in a flood. Couldn't tell from the outside, but when I opened it up, took the kneeboard off the bottom down here, there was a water line six inches tall in the back, the whole bottom of the piano. Yeah, that one was junk. And... Uh, it was busted up and put in a dumpster. So just be careful. You know, it may look awesome on the outside, but you can't tell sometimes if the piano's been dropped, if the piano's been in a fire, if you don't know what you're looking at, you can't tell whether the piano's been played by a gorilla for three years and is totally toast as far as the wear and tear and it's got super high mileage on it because of how it's been used. So just be careful. Put yourself in a frame of mind that you're helping people to screen pianos and stay away from the business of recommending them. Let someone like myself who will come out, and we do charge a little bit obviously for this. I mean, it is a call, it is time in our schedule, but you know, given the investment that's being made with you to pay for lessons and for them to maybe, even if it's they're acquiring a free piano, okay? They still gotta pay to move it, they still gotta pay to tune it, they're still putting a lot of trust in this, in being something that's going to be used to create music. And if it is something that gets in the pianist's way or causes frustration, it doesn't matter. The parents can be great cheerleaders, the kids can be excited, the piano teacher can be awesome, but if the instrument makes funny noises, doesn't stay in tune, is goofy, or otherwise frustrates them because it's constantly got sticky keys and other issues that are cost prohibitive to fix. It, you know, it, it's really hard. So just be careful and uh, feel free to use me as a resource. If somebody needs help in picking out a piano or looking at one that they're thinking about buying or acquiring even from relatives at no cost or the neighbor down the street, have them call me. I would love to talk with them and just understand what it is that I can do to help. So yeah, that's it. If you guys have any other ideas about little videos to do, or if you have questions you'd like me to answer using this sort of format, feel free. This could be fun. And yeah, thank you.